So before you can start diagnosing and treating a sick turtle, you need to know what a healthy turtle looks like. And that's what we're studying here at the Research Centre. I've been here since uh, 2008. Um, I teach undergraduate students in aquatic animal health and of course I'm extremely interested in turtles. We've had turtles here for a couple of years, they've contributed greatly to science and now it's time to go home. So the turtles that we have here, we have since they've hatched, so they're wild turtles and they hatch in the wild um, and then we bring them to our facility so that they should be parasite free and basically a clean slate to start from and that way we can assume that they are healthy and we can look at um, a few different things like their immune system development, uh, natural behaviours. We've had some studies with boldness and with colours and we have diurnal studies going and we can just learn what these turtles might be doing naturally as healthy turtles. Well our role in the turtle research started way back, nearly 30 years and uh, we've uh, joined in with James Cookiani so we can use both Aboriginal science and mainstream science to find out what's the cause of uh, decrease or increase in the turtle population. Research with wild turtles is really important and we also do that as a team, but being able to have this facility open and research healthy turtles that we've had since they hatched means that we have a really unique insight into the development of these turtles, which could be critical in preserving them for future generations.